I'm telling you, it's impossible. It can't be done. I've tried everything. The prophecy is very clear. We can't go on until this step is completed. Surely your unique skills give you opportunity? My ability has gotten us nowhere. Capricorn got there before me. They're always one step ahead of me. It's like they can read my mind. We can't let them stop us. Maybe we can use your skills on someone else. I've made inquiries. And if he hasn't gotten himself killed, maybe he's just what we need. Murphy. Tex Murphy. I feel better today than I've felt in a long time. Boy, did I stun Rook when I walked in and handed him that bracelet. Okay, so getting the bracelet back doesn't make me detective of the year, but it does stimulate the confidence glands. Maybe I can succeed at this business and turn my career around. But if I'm gonna do that, I better do something about my fax machine. Who knows how many new opportunities I've missed to show the world my greatness. Chelsea's a Hey, I heard you took care of Rook. Pretty impressive. Let me show you my investigative abilities. Then you'll be really impressed. Oh, I'm sure I would. But I just don't date my customers, especially ones with no money. I have talents that money can't buy, and some that I charge for. Oh, how intriguing. So, is there something you came to ask me about? Rook at... Oh boy, mail. Ah, my own personal credit card. I'll need this to get into the electronic shop next door. Ah, my... This electronic shop outlet has just moved into the neighborhood. I've heard that the manager's name is Ham Underwood. Everyone knows they sell overpriced junk, but it is conveniently located. That pudgy computer dweeb really has a battered head. Hi there, how can I help you? If you aren't too busy, I'd like to ask you a few questions. <laughs> I'll be happy to help you make a purchase, but I don't like small talk. Well, maybe if I were to make a purchase, it might loosen your tongue. Mm, doubtful, but you can give it a try. Well, what are you looking for? Do you have fax machines? Sure do. In fact, there's one older model in the blue light special box. 
I tried not to stare, but it threw me off when I saw how cross-eyed Ham Underwood is. I'll have to keep in mind that anything he says is on the left is probably on the right. The fax machine's so outdated it doesn't even have a brand name. And it's better than nothing. I can't get that while the force field is up. The fax machine's so outdated. Fax. As soon as I hook fax. up the new fax machine, a fax prints out. Oh, finally. Maybe this is a real case. The kind you get paid for. Countess Rainier. That name smacks of money. Hopefully she doesn't want to hire me to find her lost poodle. As I land my speeder, I see my dream house only bigger. The butler is a tall, thin man, about 70. He tells me the Countess is expecting me and shows me into a large, lavishly furnished drawing room. And the Countess Rainier. Please, have a seat. Thank you. You know, I pictured you being, well, older and heavier. No one is born old, Mr. Murphy. Now, shall we discuss our business while we're still young? Oh, by all means. Pardon my interruption. Your services have been recommended to me by a trusted friend who prefers to remain anonymous. Suffice it to say that your unique abilities are what I need right now. Um, which of my unique abilities are you referring to? I'm sure you have many unique abilities. The one I would hire you for is your talent of locating people and things. I've been told this talent has made you some friends and many enemies. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, Canis, but wasn't it Roy Rogers who once said, you can't please all the people all the time? Save your homespun humor for a more gullible woman. What I'm asking you to do may make you very unpopular with some people. Uh, exactly how unpopular are we talking here? Let me give you some background information, then you can decide for yourself. Some time ago, a family heirloom was stolen from this bungalow. I do keep most of my valuables on my estate in Europe, but on this visit, I brought the piece to show a friend. Within hours of my arrival, I found it stolen, and I have made extensive inquiries trying to retrieve it, but I found out nothing. Well, I'm sure you have more resources, talking about cash, than I do. You should be able to buy all the information you need. What makes you think that I can help you? Oh, I don't. I remembered what my friend had told me about you after I had exhausted every other option. You know, referring to me as your last option could automatically double my fee. I already planned on paying you much more than your usual fee. I'm a wealthy young woman, Mr. Murphy. To give you an idea, the stolen artifact alone is worth more money than you could earn in ten lifetimes. Oh, we'll see about that when I win the clearinghouse sweepstakes. <laughs> How quaint. Let's not waste any more time. I need some work done, and I'll pay you well for it. Well, in my experience, getting paid well is a relative term. Your obsession with money is appalling. Well, I have any number of appalling traits, but I am a good P.I. Well, if you prove to be as good as you think you are, I'll pay you a $30,000 finder's fee.
Well, let me think about it. Okay, I'll do it. In fact, I'll even mow your lawn at no charge. Try to control yourself, Mr. Murphy. <laughs> I'll expect you to focus all of your energies on this job, and the methods you use to retrieve the artifact are of no interest to me. But as more time elapses, the less likely it is that the item will be found. And for that reason, I must require you to find it and to return it to me within one week. And after that, there will be no finder's fee available to you. Do you pay time and a half after 40 hours? <laughs> that's, a, that's a joke. <laughs> I have stated my conditions. As to the artifact itself, it is a beautiful statuette made of crystal and shaped in the form of a bird. It has been in my family for countless generations and, as I said, it is extremely valuable. There are many collectors who would stop at nothing to own it. Whoever stole the statuette would undoubtedly have gone to the black market and offered it to the highest bidder. Hmm, I think I saw that statuette you're talking about. Someone was selling it on the Home Shopping Network. Boy, I had no idea it was so expensive. You make jokes, but you cannot possibly know how rare and valuable the statuette is. And now that you have all the necessary information, we'll end this charming visit. Don't bother contacting me until you have the statuette in your possession. And if you are successful in your search, it could change my opinion of you considerably. My valet will give you a retainer of a thousand dollars on your way out. Goodbye, Mr. Murphy. I didn't tell the Countess, but I would have done damn near anything for thirty thousand dollars. Now I've got to find a link to the black market. How hard can it be? What's going on, Tex? Wish I could help you there, Tex. Apparently, it's a real hot item. The top commodities dealer in the city is named Franco Franco. He probably either has the statuette or knows who has it. I don't know how you're going to find him, but if you do, be careful. Hey, Murphy, guess what? We got the guy who robbed those pawn shops, turned himself in. Can you believe it? Kept babbling something about a clown coming back from the dead to haunt him. <laughs> Congratulations, Mac. Maybe now your hemorrhoids will calm down. You're a real joker, but not even you can ruin my day. So what do you want? He's a big time crook. Deals with stolen and illegally imported merchandise, especially Jane. Sorry, Murphy. Can't help you with that. Geez, Tex, you think I know about everything? What else can I help you with, Murphy? Big time crook. Deals with a lot of uh, smuggled artifacts and the like. He's pretty well connected with the mob and black market here in San Francisco. You know, I subscribe to a trade paper called Jewelry Weekly. In the last issue, it seems to me I saw an advertisement by someone named Franco, who was looking to buy Jade. There wasn't anything of interest in the trade paper, so I threw it out. It's probably still in the trash can out back.
This must be the trade paper Rook mentioned. Being a movie buff, I've heard of the Alhambra Theater, though I heard it was closed down years ago. Sure enough, it's boarded up, but one of the back doors is unlocked. As soon as I step inside, two lugs the size of refrigerators grab me. I tell them that I have something for Mr. Franco and one of them walks off. He comes back a minute later and escorts me into the main theater. A Buster Keaton flick is playing. The place is empty except for a man sitting by himself near the front of the theater. Welcome, Mr. Murphy. Good to be here. So what's the movie? Must be a real stinker, because I think we're the only two people here. This is my private theater. Do you like movies? Sure I do. Maltese Falcon helped me choose my path in life. Ah, so you steal artifacts for a living. Sometimes. Actually, I came to ask about a particular artifact. Well, perhaps I can help you. Do you have the item? Ah, a lovely specimen. It will make a fine addition to my collection. Now, I will answer one question to the best of my knowledge. There's a statuette in the shape of a bird that recently came onto the market. You know who has it? Hmm, I know the statuette you're referring to. There were several bidders for it. But I believe it ended up in the hands of Eddie Ching. I can say no more about it. There, now I've fulfilled my part of the bargain. Don't contact me again. Unless, of course, you find another fine piece of jade. You know the way out. Do you have a fax? Do you have a fax? Back again, eh, Murphy? <laughs> what can I help you with? That place is home to more major crime figures than any other place on the planet. Eddie Ching lives there on the entire top floor. Ching's a dangerous customer. He's responsible for half the crime in the city. I'm pretty sure he owns the police commissioner. We've been told to lay off him. Talk to me, handsome. Look, I don't discuss that name, and either should you. You want to keep breathing. Hey! 
Hiya, Mifey. Well, you see my new nose. I'm so excited. Mmm. I'm gonna look and feel like a new man. Well, that's swell, Beak. Hope you're feeling grateful enough to answer some more questions. Yeah, sure. Anything. I can't help you there. I haven't got any info on that. I've heard his name in connection with some smuggling and illegal importing. I don't know anymore. That's where Eddie Ching lives. That's all I know. You didn't hear me say this, but Eddie Ching owns this whole section of the city. Back again, eh? What can I do for you? I understand that you and I are in the same line of moonlighting work. Really? You do security systems too? Well, sometimes. Here, let me see if I can find one of my business cards. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I always misplace my business cards too. Uh, what types of security systems have you worked with? Let's see. The last job I had was the laser security system at Big Dick's Casino on Mars. I've heard that's a neat system. <laughs> but it's nothing compared to the one I just put in. I'll have you know that I've beaten every security system ever made. Well, after I installed this system, I tried to beat it, but I couldn't. First, the only possible way to enter the building would be to land on the roof and rappel down. Then, you'd have to cut through the LCD alarm glass. Well, that's not too hard. In fact, I, I sell a laser blade here that would do it. But once you're inside, Every room is flooded with a net of heat and motion sensing beams that could turn an elephant into a brick of carbon. Believe me, it's burglar proof. Uh, listen, this system is top secret, so uh, let's just keep this between us. The Laser Blade 2000, worthless except on glass. Hopefully Ham knows what he's talking about. Well, this is just a glorified glass cutter. What can I get you? Sorry, Mife. Can't help you there. I've heard his name, but I don't know anything about him. Sorry, Mife. Armed with a chintzy electronic shop laser blade, I land my speeder on the roof of the Knickerbocker. Hoping for the best, I repel down the side and pull out the laser blade. The laser beam cuts through the LCD glass like it was butter. 
I gingerly crawl through the hole in the window and find myself inside Eddie Ching's library. Either I'm exaggerated or the laser fields aren't turned on. This must be my lucky day. Boring. Hundreds of magazines and not a single issue of True Detective. Unless I miss my guess, these are Ching vases. And some dish. I wonder if it's dishwasher safe. This book seems out of place somehow. There's something different about this book. Just call it P.I.'s Instinct. Aha! I knew it. A key. Impressive closet door. This must be the only door out of the library. Hmm, a heavy duty metal Geiger trap. Looks like it might be sturdy enough to use on the roaches at my office. Clownfish confetti food. Smells like cotton candy. Hey, I think this is the statue that was stolen from the JBs out in Chinatown. This aquarium has less algae in it than my water cooler back at the office. This aquarium has Now this ring should be heavy enough to be useful. So these are the laser nets Ham was talking about. There's a power box at the far end of the hallway with a button flashing. Maybe if I can hit that button, it'll turn off the laser nets. So these are the la- security system is tough. My brilliant shot didn't turn off the beams, it just popped open the power box. Hmm. Looks like there's a lever that needs to be pulled down. Hopefully my old horseshoe tossing skills haven't left me. I'll need to find something fairly heavy. As soon as the ring hits the lever, the laser net shuts down. Now I should have the run of the apartment. If the statuette's here, Ching probably has it well hidden. It's 
Something tells me the trail to the statuette leads right through this door. Well, this must be the mythical Buckaroo Buddha riding his headless steed, Tumbleweed. Oh, don't tell me. A man taking his cat for a walk. An extremely dense and heavy Saturnium ball suspended over a gravity pad. This Victorian cabinet's nice, but it's just for show. Looks like it doesn't even open. Must be Venus before the big breakup. Whoa, a six foot long pole with a leather noose. This must be great fun at parties. Why, these paintings are great. Just look at the nudity. I need to visit more museums. Well, that's a handsome oriental dressing screen. I'll tell you what, this guy's got style. An ultra safe 8000, huh? Top of the line. Antique vase. Be party time at Valhalla. These marble obelisks look real. These marble obelisks. Mmm, Geiger Chow. It's got real roast beef flavor and makes its own rich gravy. There is a Geiger in the terrarium. Little bugger's a land piranha. It's illegal even to own one of these. I don't know what I'll do with a small, ravenous Geiger. Oh well. Everybody needs a pet. Looks like a fax. I don't want to be nosy, but maybe I should take a look. An ultra safe 8000, huh? Looks like some sort of document.
The security card must operate a door or panel somewhere in this apartment. The security card must operate a door or panel in the apartment. This door exits the apartment. The voices outside must be security personnel. Real nice door as bathrooms go. Luckily nature's not calling. The doorway. I doubt I'll be needing this. I doubt I'll ever be needing this. Her voice is coming. Mom teaching kids proper baby handling techniques. How oh, tender. Well, this is your standard light at the end of the tunnel. Stone bust. Whoever posed for it didn't win any beauty contests, I'll wager. Real nice door. Real nice door as bathrooms go. Small mirror provides the opportunity to touch The solid steel switch lock requires a key. Sounds like something big moved back in the library when I used Ching's key on the switch lock. I better go take a look. Look what's behind the bookcase, a secret room. I love secret rooms. I swear I have seen this painting before. This one must be the original. This seems to be a fine rendering of Greco-Roman square dancing. This must be the Countess Statuette. I guess she wasn't exaggerating when she said how valuable it was. If I try to reach the statuette with those laser beams on, they'll light me up like a Duralog. I'd call this painting Young Boy with Fiddle Asking for Allowance. 
So that's what the ocean used to look like. Well, I'm glad someone had the decency to clean up the smut some people call art. Looks like a cloth bandana is tied around David's naughty bits. To pull or not to pull, that is the question. This must be one of those hermetically sealed chambers. Unless I miss my guess, those objects are the three surviving artifacts from the Byzantine Empire. Absolutely priceless. Wonder if these barrels are full of some hearty ale. I wish I had time to check them out. This sign apparently has something to do with the lever. This painting sticks out from the wall more than the others do. Aha! A security card slot! This must be the control for the pedestal where the statuette is. Great feels empty. It's light, but it's sturdy. Looks like Ching needs to install a better security system. Countess will be glad to get this statuette back. Almost as glad as I'll be to take her money. I'll return the statuette to her first thing in the morning. Laser Blade did a nice job cutting through the window. I can't wait to... Oh, shoot. I go through all that work to get the statuette out of Ching's place and I leave it in the damn speeder. And I didn't even roll up the windows. I am such an idiot.